Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. I am here today to share with you my 20 and 21 week pregnancy update. It has been a while since I filmed a pregnancy update. I think my last one was at 17 weeks. So it has been quite a while now. I feel like a lot has changed since my last update. I have a lot to update you guys on and fill you in with why I really haven't been filming my updates because I've had a lot going on physically like with my pregnancy as well as in life in general and it's been super hard to find time to sit down and film but I am doing it today so I have a little friend with me here today she's being super duper grumpy today and her brother and sister are not home so she's probably going to be joining me for most of this video. I am almost 22 weeks pregnant. I will be 22 weeks pregnant tomorrow. So I wanted to get this filmed and up before I hit my 22 week mark because then that would just be rolling into another week that I haven't updated you guys on. This update is mainly just going to be 20 and 21 weeks. I will touch on some things that happen during week 18 and 19, but most of it, all the symptoms are going to be <laughs> but all of the symptoms that I'm talking about are mainly going to be from the past week and a half. I'm tracking to about 18 weeks. I was almost 19 weeks pregnant. I was 18 weeks and 6 days. And I got up about 9.30, 10 o'clock at night. And I had a lot of bleeding. It wasn't just a little bit of blood. It was to the point where I would just stand or like sit in the bathroom. And there would just be like blood constantly coming out. It instantly scared me. I started crying like I was so scared. And it was a Saturday night, so it wasn't like I could just stick it out till morning and go see the doctor in the morning because they weren't going to be open on Sunday. I called my on-call doctor, and they told me to head over to the hospital, which was really traumatizing because... Juan had to stay home with the kids because we didn't have anybody to come and watch them. My family was out of town and we tried calling my sister and we couldn't get a hold of her. So I had to drive to the hospital by myself. And I was there from about 11.30 at night to about 10 o'clock the next morning. I was there for a really long time. They did an ultrasound. They did blood work. They did a urine sample. And hi! Everything turned out okay with all of those. It was during the ultrasound that I kind of was told what was going on. Um, the ultrasound tech said she wasn't really able to fully tell me everything for like liability reasons and stuff, but she kind of explained to me what was going on. And she's like, but if you tell your doctor I said this, I'm going to deny it because they're not really supposed to like tell the patient what's going on. They have to do the ultrasound, the ultrasound gets sent somewhere, they read the results and then tell the doctor. What she said was going on was that my placenta was within an inch of my cervix, so it's really, really close to my cervix. It is something when your placenta is actually covering the cervix, there is a name for it, um, and you have to be diagnosed with it. They cannot diagnose me with that because it actually has to be covering it and mine's not covering it. It's just really, really close to it. So what can happen if you have this is that you basically cannot give birth naturally. You'll have to have a C-section because you will bleed out and you could die or your baby could die. It's a really, really dangerous thing to have. So she couldn't diagnose me with it specifically, but she said that is why I was bleeding because my placenta is so close to my cervix and that there are a lot of like blood vessels and all kinds of things going on in your uterus and with your placenta and if you are stressed or do much too much activity or anything like that when you are pregnant and you have something like I have it can cause bleeding and she said I will probably bleed throughout the rest of my pregnancy so I have been spotting just a little bit I haven't had any more days where I've had like a lot of blood. It was just a very, very scary thing. It was scary seeing that much blood. I was so scared when I walked into the hospital and I was getting like signed in and getting like the little wristbands that they put on you. The nurse was like, oh, because you're not 20 weeks, if you're having a miscarriage, we're not going to stop it. And I was already scared that I was having a miscarriage because at that point I didn't know what was going on. And then when she said that, I just, I lost it. Like I couldn't even hold back the tears. I was just crying for a good probably two hours until they took me into the ultrasound. So I'm glad that everything is okay the ultrasound tech said that the baby was doing fine there was nothing wrong with him or his little sack it was just me and how I am carrying him 
So she did say that he was really, really low, which I already knew. I had to put her down. She's just coloring. So if you guys hear her, she's just right down here. You might see her little head pop up. But at that point, I was only 18 and a half, 19-ish weeks, and I wasn't feeling him move very often. Now I'm almost 22 weeks, and I feel him all the time. During the day, during the night, like all the time, I am feeling him. So I was really scared because I hadn't been feeling him that night very much. And then I had all that bleeding, but she said he was doing fine and he was doing really good. He looked really healthy, so that kind of settled my mind a little bit. It's still a really scary thing to experience, especially because she said I could start bleeding and it not be stopped and then there could be problems that go from there. But as of right now, everything is looking fine. I have been to the doctor. I went to the doctor at 20 and a half weeks I think it was 20 and a half weeks um, and I was really really frustrated at that doctor's appointment if you guys remember during my last update I talked about how he hadn't sent me for my anatomy scan yet so when I went in to my appointment last week or it was almost two weeks ago now um, I asked if he was going to send me out for an anatomy scan and he told me no that he wanted to wait two more weeks because of my bleeding and things like that and then have me come back in and then he would send me, which I really don't understand that. I have had my ultrasound done at a place where we paid, obviously, to find the gender. And then I kind of got to see the baby a little bit at the hospital. She didn't really show me too much, but she told me that he was okay. It is really scary because there are certain things that they can pick up during the anatomy scan if there's a heart condition or if there's something wrong. Those are things you would like to know ahead of time just so you can prepare yourself for them. And I haven't had that yet so by the time I do get my anatomy scan I'm probably gonna be like 24 25 weeks which is way beyond halfway done so it is a little bit frustrating I know it's not the end of the world and I'm okay because I've seen the baby and I know he's doing good it would just give me more peace of mind to have the anatomy scan done where they look at everything just to make sure that everything is okay and that the bleeding really was from maybe my placenta and that it isn't being caused from something else. Another thing they told me at my doctor's appointment is that I have been gaining too much weight. I stepped on the scale today and I weighed 137. So that is about 15 pounds from my pre-pregnancy weight which I feel confident in sometimes because I am over halfway done and I've gained 15 pounds so that gives me another 15 ish pounds to gain before I hit 30 pounds so I'm not worried about it but they are worried about it because they said I've only should have gained like eight or nine or something like that I don't know I'm not worried about it but they sent me to a nutritionist who asked me what I was eating which I'm eating fine it's just with me when I have boys I just gain more weight and I carry a lot differently like I get wider my boobs get bigger like my belly gets bigger and I carry lower so I'm not worried about it but they are worried about it but I'm just gonna let them keep worrying because I feel fine my body feels fine like I'm, I'm just not worried about it moving on to symptoms my biggest symptom that I've had these past few weeks other than the bleeding is that I have been battling a cold that I've had for almost four weeks after I got home from the hospital, the next day I came down with a cold and I have not been able to catch a break from it. And part of the reason is I can't really take anything. Um, now it's to the point where it's just my nose and my throat are just kind of hurting. I don't really have a cough anymore. I'm not really coughing anything up. But my husband did get it and my mom did get it. I passed it to both of them and they both had it for like two and a half weeks. So I know it's just one of those colds that just lingers and maybe because I'm pregnant it's just lingering a little bit longer. But that has been something I have been dealing with. Along with my restless leg syndrome, I still am battling with that. I don't have it every day, it's just a couple times a week. But those nights that I do have it, like I just want to chop my legs off, my feet off, they just hurt so bad. <laughs> so that is something I have still been dealing with along with my nosebleeds. I don't think those are going to go away until I deliver this baby. It's just something I have to deal with, but that is still happening. My face has also been breaking out so bad since about 18 weeks. It is finally starting to clear up and I don't even want to say that because I feel like when I say that it's just going to come right back but it's been really down here along my like jawline and on my forehead where I never get acne there 
and it's more cystic acne which have to do with I'm sure my hormones and the only time I ever get these are when I'm pregnant when I'm not pregnant my skin is normally really really clear but unfortunately for me when I get pregnant my face breaks out so bad I know a lot of women say when they're pregnant their skin actually clears up but I have the opposite for me I kind of tend to break out more another thing that I talked about why I'm a little bit concerned is I have been having pain slash discomfort in my abdominal region I don't necessarily know if it's my uterus like contracting or if it's maybe my abdominal muscles because they have obviously pulled apart if that is what's hurting me but something in my belly region has been hurting me so bad that sometimes I can't breathe like I can't catch my breath because it's like a sharp stinging pain and I just can't breathe so I have mentioned it to my doctor, but like always, he doesn't really think much of it. So of course I like Google things and Googling is always bad, but I have just been paying a little bit more attention to it. Some of the statistics for baby this week is that he weighs almost a pound and that he is 11 inches long. It is just crazy to me that I have a baby that is almost a foot long. Um, 11 inches is really, really big. Like when I stand up, that takes up a lot of room so I know he's still super super skinny in there and he doesn't have a lot of fat on him yet but that is just crazy that he is almost a foot long I haven't had any weird cravings or anything like that these past few weeks I've just been making sure to be drinking a lot of water to stay on top of my vitamins but I have been able to finally start drinking coffee more without getting really really jittery so that is good because I have been really really tired about 4 o'clock every night, I just want to go to bed for the rest of the night. I'm just done by 4 o'clock. I only have one baby by this week. We're still trying to figure out when we're moving and where we are moving. We have been having a lot of difficulty with that. So it's really hard to buy big baby things because I don't know when we're going to be moving. So I did pick up one thing at Target this week. It is a three-pack of little sleepers. It is a gray striped sleeper and then a black and white little design and then a black striped and it has a little lime greenish yellow details on it. I picked up a three to six months. This is from Target. It is the brand Cat and Jack. I have been looking for similar items to this, this kind of style, these colors, and I have not been able to find anything. And I was at Target and I randomly saw this. Um, it was the only one I searched the whole baby department, both boy and girl, and I couldn't find it anywhere. So it either came from another store and someone returned it or it was ordered online and again somebody returned it but I snatched it up because I am really really into like blacks and grays and whites and things that don't have like I said baby animals on it but I just thought these are really really cute and they're so boyish so I really really like them these little kinds of outfits the ones that zip up that have the little feet are my favorite for like zero to four month babies when they're not crawling they're not rolling around too much because I really don't like putting like pants and all kinds of snappy stuff on babies when you're constantly having to change their diaper so these are really convenient because they have the zipper and it just zips up all the way from the bottom to the top you don't really have to deal with all the snaps and pulling down the pants and then pulling up the onesie it's just so much easier for me I am definitely that mom that lets their babies be comfortable rather than cute their first couple months of life they have a whole lifetime ahead of them to be dressed really cute I just want them to be really really comfortable in the beginning that is it for for my baby buys we have been out of town a lot the past couple weeks we went to the coast for a couple days we flew up to the state of Washington for my cousin's wedding for a few days so I haven't really been thinking about baby buys that much but I know I need to get on it because pretty soon we are going to be approaching 25 weeks and I will only have 15 weeks left to prepare for this baby. I think that is it for my update. I feel like this one was kind of all over the place because I haven't done an update in such a long time and I kind of had a lot of random little things to update you guys on. So I will go ahead and show you guys my belly and I will be right back. I feel like my belly has grown a lot since the last time I showed it to you guys. Um, this is a maternity shirt from 
Target. I really, really enjoy these. I have a white one and a black one. They're just really soft and comfortable. But this is what the belly looks like. You can kind of start to see the shape a lot more, um, especially when I like hold my hands down like there's a lot of baby in there right now. This is what it looks like with the shirt up. My belly button is not closed yet, so I'm still waiting for that to happen. But as you can see, it's just growing a lot. I just feel really, really round, but I feel like I am carrying really, really low too. I haven't gotten any new stretch marks. I have noticed my belly has been growing and has been a little bit more dry, so I've been making sure to put on my oils a lot more, but I do not have any more stretch marks, and the ones that I have are not getting bigger yet. But I would say I'm about 35 and a half. Thank you guys so much for watching my video and for following me on my pregnancy journey with baby number four. I kind of am a little bit sad that this is going to be my last baby. I am not sad it's going to be my last pregnancy because I am not the best pregnancy person. I just don't like being pregnant that much. I'm a little bit sad that it is going to be my last baby. So I'm kind of trying to soak in all the kicks and all the growing and all the planning because I know it is going to be my last one. If you guys are new to my channel, make sure to click the red subscribe button down below and give this video a big thumbs up and I will see y'all in my next video. Bye guys. Can you say hi? Look, right here in the camera. Can you say hi? Hi. hi. Say Reagan. Can you say baby? Baby. Baby, where's the baby? Is it the baby in mommy's belly? Yeah. Can you say hi? Can you give the baby a kiss? Oh, thank you. Can you give the baby a hug? Oh, thank you. Can you say bye-bye? Bye-bye.